Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another walking and talking episode through Merida. All right, well, today's episode is going to be a little different than the usual ones. I know most of them are pretty different. You know, I'm all over the place when I make videos, but today's video is going to be a little different. Today's video is really going to be more like an update to my channel and an update to the whole ecosystem of uh, Jose and Lambo. All right, because there's been a lot of recent changes um, in the last like several weeks and last month and going forward. And even though I've, I know I've made a few update videos in the last like month or something, I know I at least made one. Probably, actually, I think it's been already, already over, almost two months ago. But regardless, um, I, I, I just had to add more stuff to the update because there's just so much going on within my channel. So. The first thing I want to talk about, the first thing I want to knock out is the fact that, let me see, let me go this way, probably better this way, you know, um, you know, one of the first things I want to knock out out of the way is the fact that, you know, when I first started doing these uh, daily vlogs uh, around December of 2017, by the way, I've been vlogging for longer than that, since 2015, 2016, but regardless, ever since, uh, Ever since December 2017, when I started doing daily vlogs again and, uh, you know, talking about crypto and Bitcoin and conspiracy and technology and what's happening on out in the world every day. Um, th that's what I was doing my, my channel. I mean, that's what I was doing on my channel for like the longest time. You know, so I literally was a crypto YouTuber guy all the way up until June, July of uh, last year so June July of 2018 and ever since that moment I started doing vlogs again and uh, my vlogs again you know I, I know you guys already know the story I came out here to Mexico and I was just uh, showing you guys around and then I started you know wanting to make vlogs again like I used to and I started doing those and I stopped for a while went back to crypto and then you know back full circle where you know all of a sudden as time went on you know as I was here for for you know months you know even though I travel you know I've been calling Mex Merida Mexico my home for a long time by the way I, I sincerely apologize if it's really windy it's just about to start raining really hard that's what she said so yeah it's really windy right now crazy windy hoping to make it home before it gets really bad whoa whoa it's a lot of wind it's a lot of wind but anyways as I was saying, oh, it's a lot of wind. All right, I can barely hear me, so I, I know I'm definitely not gonna hear it too well. Okay, there we go, died down. So, you know, all of a sudden, you know, after about you know six, seven months of me, the initial move out here to Merida, you know, a lot of my older Mexican videos, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're vlogs that I started making when I first moved out here and all that shit, you know, I, they, they were starting to get views and they were starting to get popular and so on and so forth so i just it sparked something in me you know i'm gonna start making more of these travel vlogs more of these you know many the vlogs you know and all this other stuff because you know they, they were popular um if you guys if for most of you guys in the crypto space you guys know that uh 2018 was pretty pretty abysmal for the crypto for everything in crypto so i i, I decided you know what i'm gonna make more of these mexico medida videos See, look, speaking of which, look how beautiful. The horsey. Oh, shit. Let's do this. <laughs> so, you know, that inspired me to just make more of those. And uh, as I started making more of these Mexico videos, uh, you know, it, it was just a, like a snowball effect where, you know, my channel kept growing. Um, I was getting a lot of positive feedback. I really enjoyed making these vlogs. And, you know, long story short, we are where we are today. So now... As of today, I, I, I mean, I talk to everybody in my community and I have plenty, plenty of people that have been following me since the very beginning, you know, um, talking about crypto and all this other stuff. And, you know, a lot of them are reaching out to me in one form or another and just saying that they miss that. They miss me talking about crypto. They miss me talking about Bitcoin, conspiracy, the blockchain, you know, politics and so many other fucking things that I talk about all the time. And I miss talking about a lot of those things too. But the reality is, I just like to talk. I just, I love to talk, I love to share. 
I love to do what I'm doing right now. And so to me, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that, you know, as I make a lot of these travel videos, which I've always wanted to make, as I make a lot of these, you know, Merida videos and, and, uh, and so on and so forth, I'm realizing that, you know, you guys are, you know, showing me a lot of love and, you know, I want to keep doing them, but you know, I'm, I'm constantly struggling. I'm constantly struggling with the fact you know that I'm, I'm in a weird way abandoning my crypto community abandoning my tech community and shit like that but I, I'm not guys you know like again this video is really more like an update in the sense that look I don't want you guys out there to be thinking that um, I'm doing you know that at all like look what my channel is all about is just it's me that's why I'm not the crypto guy. That's why I'm not the travel bug. That's why I'm not any of these things. I'm Jose Adiaga. You know, when, you, when you're subscribing, you're checking out my channel, it's me. You know, hanging out with me. We're just chilling with me, talking about whatever the fuck is on my mind. And, um, you know, not, not always am I going to be talking about, you know, all the, you know, conspiracy stuff and the technology stuff and shit like that. And look, the reason I'm not talking about those things right now is because there's not that much people that are interested in this shit right now. It's just not. And so every time that I make any kind of crypto video, believe it or not, no matter what, as much as I love my, you know, my crypto community and I want to make these videos, you know, I, I barely get a hundred views. And that, that kind of sucks, man, because I put a lot of work into making those videos. Now, when I make a Mexico video, I barely put in that much work. I'm just talking, you know, telling you my experiences and stuff. And um, all of a sudden, you know, like I wake up in the morning at, you know, by seven, eight o'clock in the morning, a few hours after the video got uploaded, and I, I'm already close to 100 views within a few hours. And by the end of the day, it's like, you know, three, 400 views. And so that's a lot. And it helps my channel grow. Um, it's, it's, it's content that you guys want and so on and so forth. And even though I've, I've been saying, and I have been creating, you know, like Bitcoin, for beginners bitcoin 101 and all these videos you know the reality is that the numbers don't lie you know um so what i'm gonna be doing is that i'm just gonna continue with business as usual many meaning i'm just gonna wake up and whatever kind of videos i want to make that day those are the videos that i'm gonna be making and that's it now the reality is that right now i'm making more videos concentrated on living out here living abroad traveling um, being off the grid and all this stuff and like if we've already talked about before a million times all this stuff is correlated regardless one way or the other in fact you know there's a guy out there mr. Jeff Berwick the dollar vigilante you know he's starting to do what I do now which is you know just take out his camera and walk around wherever the fuck he is and uh, whether it's Tuscany or Acapulco or whatever and he starts talking about um, you know, a lot of things, you know, whether it's conspiracy, whether it's the news, whether it's the, you know, all that stuff. So at the end of the day, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be following the book of Doug Polk uh, YouTube videos. What's up guys, Dog Polk here, welcome back to Poker Hands, and today we're going to take a look at a hand from the World Series of Poker $100,000 High Roller. This just in, breaking news, our top story tonight, Bitcoin has broken the $10,000 price barrier. At least I hope it still has, because these videos take a day to edit. Next up, Facebook set to launch new cryptocurrency named Libra. Will this help Bitcoin, or will it be a cancer? With Bitcoin on the rise, fair weather crypto YouTubers are back. Be careful out there, these guys are only making videos for people to watch them. Disgust me. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't know who the hell Doug Polk, Polk is, especially if you guys are in the, in the, you know, just watching my travel videos, you have no idea who he is. But if you're in the crypto space and you have been in the crypto space for a while, you know who Doug Polk is. And this, and so what, what his method of YouTube videos is like this. He has two YouTube channels. He's a poker guy, and he's also a crypto guy. His poker channel, he's always making videos, you know? So, like, his poker is like his Mexico stuff. You know, like my Mexico stuff. I always got tons of Mexico stuff. But when it comes to crypto, you know, that's a very, very niche and very, very select, you know, not only group of people, but group of people that want to learn. And so, right now, within the crypto space, it's still so early that literally, as I make videos, I'm making videos for the same group of people over and over again 
but when crypto is more popular when bitcoin is is more on the mainstream uh you know um part of the mainstream zeitgeist then all of a sudden you know um those videos get a lot of views those videos are very popular and so on and so forth so you know to me like i just want to keep growing and expanding and uh, right now what i'm doing is that I'm, I'm literally just doing travel videos okay and um and things of that ilk now again i'm still gonna be doing you know um conspiracy videos and stuff like that but like for example as much as i want to make a video talking about epstein and his suicide <laughs> you know <laughs> we came we saw he died so anyways but first let me tell you what we found 110 emails 52 email chains have been determined to contain classified information what difference at this point does it make eight of those chains are top secret 36 of those chains secret and eight contain confidential information what difference at this point does it make everything i did was omitted there was no law no regulation secretary clinton should have known that an unclassified system was no place for that conversation i did not email any classified material to anyone on my email none of these emails should have been on any kind of unclassified system not even gmail but first of all nothing was marked classified to the contrary nothing was marked classified there is evidence nothing was marked classified now let me tell you what we found. Oh my God. 110 emails. It was not the best choice. And you may find yourself living in a shotgun shack. And you may find yourself in another part of the world. And you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. And you may find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife. And you know, you may say to yourself, well, how did I get here? Yeah, anyways, so like I said, like as much as I want to make videos on that, it's like, I'm still not, I'm only going to get a few views because, again, who hasn't made a fucking video on that? You know, there's there's people that don't even talk about these things they've made videos on it. So it's it's all about, you know, um, using my skills to the best of their abilities. You know, why do I cover Julian Assange a little more than the, the average? Well, because nobody covers Assange. So every time I make an Assange video, there's a good chance that you know a lot of people will actually watch it and it'll spread just like when i make my merida mexico videos you know just like when i make my mexico videos and it's the same kind of thought behind all this stuff so yeah back to doug polk so doug polk i remember like fuck, i want to say months ago i want to say a year ago almost well back when the when everybody was talking about bitcoin and crypto you know he was one of the most popular channels because he was just like hilarious he was like the the Daily View, I mean, The Daily Show. You guys remember Daily Show? Um, back when uh, Jon Stewart was on, it was actually good. So, you know, he was like The Daily Show for crypto. It was fucking great. It was like, who, who, everybody loved it. Even if you hated him, you still loved it. You know, it was still good shit. But then what happened? As more and more people started losing interest within the crypto space, he literally said, you know what? I'm not gonna make any more fucking videos because it's not worth my time. It's just not worth it. You know, why am I gonna make videos for the same group of five people when I could keep, you know, when he could keep making his uh, his poker videos and keep attracting a larger audience and keep doing, you know, what he was doing already. So, you know, back to, to me, you know, I was doing crypto videos more than anything else because it was just like my avenue. It was my, uh, it was the easiest way for me to start building my audience, you know, just talking and being me. But then all of a sudden, as I discovered, you know, the fact that, damn, I, I'm actually a travel vlogger as well. And I was actually getting more success with that. It's like, well, okay, well, now it's time to focus on that. And that's it. So all I'm saying is that it's all going to be coming in waves, okay? Just like the Big Connect guy. It's coming in waves. We are coming and we are coming in waves. We are starting and we are going to actually go all over the world. My wife still doesn't believe in me. What am I going to do? same thing you know meaning that right now there's not really much to talk about within the crypto space 
I mean, there's always a million things to talk about. I mean, that's that's 100%. We don't got to worry about that there. But, you know, right now, I could fucking go and start spitting out a bunch of news and a bunch of, you know, things related to the, to the whole crypto space. And again, outside of a select small group of people, not many people are really going to be that interested in it. And uh, that's just a simple fact. But all of a sudden, I make a, a Mexico travel video. And there's a million people interested in it. Some people just want to see Mexico. Some people want to move to Mexico. Some people want to just travel. Some people want tips. Some people. So there's like a humongous larger audience. And since it's a little niche in the fact that I'm in Medida, there's not many people out here in Medida doing what I'm doing. It's like even more niche. And again, it just helps the channel grow. But when it comes to Bitcoin, look, guys, you know, real, real or crypto or any of the shit, the other stuff, it's like either if I'm going to be talking about politics or anything like that, I got to take like a hard stance, meaning I'm pro Trump or I'm pro left or I'm pro whatever the fuck, you know, socialism, you know, and that's the thing. And like, and if I don't, if I don't do that and I kind of fall in the middle, then I get lost in the YouTube algorithm. If I'm fucking here talking about how Hillary sucks and fuck the Democrats or whatever, you know what I mean? Or fuck the Republicans, fuck Trump or fuck Bernie. As soon as I make anything like that, then I get popular. But that's not who I am. I'm not gonna, I'm not here picking sides. I'm here, I'm, I'm do, I do the opposite. I, I look at all sides, you know, I look at all sides and then, you know, make myself, you know, make a very, um, a smart decision on all the knowledge that I have and that's what I always tell you guys as well to diversify your knowledge gathering as well so you know back to to what I was just saying right now right you know right now like I said you know there, there's very 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 small incentive for me to make any of these other videos um and and um and that's why you know even though I still make them I make them for myself at this point you know as i make uh you know so those, those you know the videos on you know conspiracy or crypto or whatever the hell i'm making these things for me you know more than anything else now sure there's a benefit to the fact that there's a benefit to the fact that you know um by me making these videos for me and wanting to make them for me there's a lot of you guys out there that you know get to take full advantage of uh this knowledge sharing and uh the knowledge um you know what i mean like we get to share knowledge and build on that a lot but you know we also get to do that as we talk about mexico as we talk about other things and in fact one of the things that i'm going to start doing now is i'm going to throw a curveball to the mexico videos that i make and i'm going to start talking about the ugly side of the things out here because i've already been out here for a very long not a very long time but i've already been out here for a long enough time as to where you know there's a lot of things out here that are not perfect there's a lot of things out here that kind of suck there's a lot of things out here that you know need a, a little exposure with the truth and uh and the reason i'm gonna start making these i'm gonna tell you the truth is because of my girlfriend my girlfriend's like man all your videos are always like the positive and the awesome side of medina but you never talk about any of the negative negative. and even though like i think i do sometimes you know the reality is is that the truth is is that i don't and um i should and i will because that's the point you know what i mean like to me it's about telling you guys how i see everything with my eyes how i experience things how things are and you know from my point of view and i gotta i gotta give you you know just like i give you every single um, every single point of view um, out of the conspiracy theory or out of uh, whatever else I'm talking about. Well, I got to do the same thing when it comes to talking about here. Man, it is so hot and humid. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So regardless, I'm st you're going to still see my regular schedule. Meaning, you know, you you um, you check into my, my YouTube page every day. And you never know what kind of video I'm going to make. Whether it's a, a crypto video. Whether it's a Mexico video. Whether it's a conspiracy video, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm still going to go with that schedule. Is that all I'm saying is that my schedule's changing a little bit in the sense it's already been changed, you know. But the point I'm making is that it's going to be, you know, more heavily focused on whatever the hell I'm going through at the moment in time. So right now, you know, there's a lot of things to talk about when it comes to being an expat being living in mexico living abroad you know all these other things and well that's what i'm going to be focusing on as we get more and more light shed onto the economy onto a lot of the other things that are happening 
that I want to talk about, then we're going to talk about them. And that's so on. So, for example, you know, football season's right around the corner. You already know that they're going to be using football season in order to stop talking about a lot of the things that they don't want us to talk about. You know, the Kardashians, you know, fall season, you know, teach. Man, as I was finishing that recording, I got an SD card error, so I got a freaking feeling that nothing got recorded. Nothing of my last vlog got recorded. I hope that that's not the case, and I hope it was just like a little bit of an error, and I hope I got to capture most of my video today. But again, guys, long story short, what's gonna really dictate how and what I make videos from now on is gonna be the numbers, you know? Meaning, I'm just gonna go with uh, what's popular and what's what you guys wanna hear and what you guys want to talk about so if i make if keep making crypto videos and you guys are not watching them then and you guys are watching you know my you know travel videos 10 times more then i'm going to be making those and that's pretty much it again again guys at the end of the day you got to remember i'm a chef and to me making travel videos and making you know travel vlogs and things that have to do with that kind of stuff are more up my alley and more the kind of things that i want to do i want to do like regular vlogs and, and show you guys you know from my perspective, the world and, and life and uh, and all these awesome other things. But, you know, regardless, what's gonna happen is that like as the days go on, we're just gonna take it, you know, one day at a time. And um, we're just gonna, so now, you know, when you're looking at my channel, my videos, and you're wondering why you see more of one kind of video and less of another kind and so on and so forth, it's basically because that. I'm just playing with the numbers right now. As soon as, uh, you know, we get back into summer, I mean, we're sorry, as soon as we get back into the fall, winter, you know, most likely I'll be talking about a lot of the craziness that's happening around the world and so on and so forth. It's all just going to be different. But anyways, guys, I'm sorry. I just can't get my mind off the fact that I don't know if I even recorded anything like at all. And I don't even know if uh, any of the things going to even be viewed. So I'm just going to end it here and hope for the best. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. If you guys have any questions, any, any comments, any anything, please feel free to leave them below. And uh, we'll get to it. Okay, guys? Guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys manana. Peace. Stay awesome. Hey, guys. Guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And, um... I'm gonna be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's you know mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special request on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. Alright guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.